Let us now look at the other spreadsheet task from the 2023 Higher Admin and IT assignment. Now pulled across the task, it's come in the form of a text message and I can see in the first paragraph is asking for a summary of the product sales from last year's festival and I can see from the screenshot of the e-files I've brought across that there is indeed an e-file called product sales and it is an Excel spreadsheet. The second clue that we're working in Excel is it's asking us to create and print a pivot table. And as you know, um, a pivot table is a feature of Excel. So the first thing we're going to do is to create our pivot table. Make sure you have clicked somewhere in the data set before you go to insert and then pivot table. By default, it will always ask you to create a new sheet and I would recommend you leave it as a new sheet and then click on OK and then we're ready to get started. So let's now look back at the task and remind ourselves of what we need to do with the pivot table, that we are looking to get the total sales value for each day and also the overall total. So that's the starting point. So we're working with the day field, which we can drag down into row. That's the first thing. And we're looking to analyze the sales value so therefore we have to bring the sales value field down into the values box. You can see there the grand total is there, which is what we which is what we want. That is the, the overall total. If that was not there, by the way, you'd have to go up to design and then the far left grand totals. And that's where you can switch it on or off. But in this case, we want to keep it on. So that's what we're going to do. I would also at this stage, I would tidy up the pivot table. So rather than have row labels, I would change that to days. Rather than sum of sales value, I could just maybe change that to total sales value like that. And the other thing I would do actually is I would just quickly format that into currency. So right click, value field settings, number format, and then click on currency, click on OK, click on OK again. And that's you formatted everything and then we can move on to the second section. So the second part is asking us to show the data as a daily running total. So what we have to do actually is bring down the sales value again underneath the, the one we did before. And in the second column, let's not bother changing anything at the moment, but go into the second column. And if you right click, you will see the menu pops up and there is a section here, show values as. Now, in previous assignments, they've asked for the percent of grand total, but in 2023, they asked for the running total. So we're gonna come down and click on running total. This wee dialog box pops up and it's just really asking, what is your base field? Well, yes, we're, it's a running total for the three days that we have in the pivot table. So we'll leave the base field as it is and then click on OK. And again, just very quickly, we'll just, um, we'll just format properly, keep it consistent. And then what we'll do also is just change the label rather than sum of sales value. We can just call that the running total. So that is how we do the pivot table task in the 2023 hire assignment.